WPS 500 pressure transducer, now looking at crankcase pressure. Let's run the animation and discuss how we'll connect in this scenario. Now, of course, it's important with any measurement, we follow manufacturer instructions. And here in this scenario, we need to get the engine up to normal operating temperature. Now, how you connect to the crankcase, generally via the oil level indicator, the dipstick tube, but if not via the cap, however you can get into the crankcase. Remember when you switch on the pressure transducer, the test port must be open to atmosphere. And in this test, we're going to use range three and connect to the crankcase via the rubber hose. Insert that into the dipstick tube and then run the engine. And we'll look at the pulsations now from the crankcase. So here we have the ventilation valve breathing as normal and we see uniform pulsations. All the time we're looking for uniformity. Anything that steps out of line and is sequential uh, is reason for concern. So here now we have a contaminated ventilation valve. So we see it's congealed there, it's sticking. We still are allowed to breathe. Crankcase is breathing uh, mildly, but of course you see now the amplitude has increased. So there is now a difference in the pressure between the good and the bad engine. And that's where we do a comparison with a known good vehicle or refer to the waveform library. Let's have a closer look at the waveform. Referring to the animation, we talked about uniformity in the waveform. So here we have uniformity. And if we just do the average pressure there, we are negative 33 millibar. And this is a simulation now. So at this point here, we restrict the output from the uh, crankcase ventilation valve. And we can see immediately there is a change in pressure. So now we have come up quite considerably. We've changed by 30 millibar and we've come up to just below atmospheric pressure. So it's uniformity that we're looking for and the actual value, the average value of the crankcase pressure and compared against the known good vehicle or use the waveform library for a good comparison. To conclude, measuring crankcase pressure via the dipstick tube in this example, uh, we help reveal any underlying issues with the breather system or indeed something more serious of a mechanical nature.